Hello and welcome back to Provost Gaming and EU4, the Cossacks, playing as Russia. Well, we're in a Regency Council, which means there's not a dang thing we can do for a good long time. So, I guess we will just sit around and let our autonomy tick down for a bit. Disputed succession over Flanders, don't care. We have a pretty good heir, I mean a 4-3-3. It's just he's only two years old, it's going to take a long time. I guess I'm glad that we got him before we died. Because then we could probably have been under a personal union with Bohemia. So it could have been worse, but it's not good. We'll say that. <clears throat> What's this? Gotland. We will fabricate a claim on the island. So we won't have to fight it in future wars. Actually, yeah, now that we have Danzig. So we are Western, by the way. If you were not around for the last video. We are officially of the Western Tech Group. Which is awesome. And uh, fairly soon, by the time we finish Influence Ideas, we will have another idea that will reduce tech cost even more, which will be great. And then once we have finished this entirely, that's 50% national manpower. Pretty big deal. Muscovite Ideas are great. I just gotta say, I love Muscovite Ideas. Theodoro, how you feeling? No, you still think that you want my territory. You really should stop that. You can't have it. It's no. The answer is no. You may not has. Hmm. Theodore Opinion, Russia. I don't know how we're gonna get over that. Until you stop wanting my provinces, I'm not sure there's much I can do, honestly, with Theodoro. I would love to vassalize them and then just eat them. I mean that's that's one thing I can still do even with a Regency Council. Uh Royal Marriage with Bohemia ended. Bohemia is still the Emperor. Uh, Regency Council for Bohemia as well. <laughs> you know what? Welcome to the club. Feel my pain. We're just going to spend some money, I guess. And we'll continue to improve things. How about Marketplace? We can build one in Danzig, right? Nope, Danzig already has one. Don't need then. Um, anywhere else that really should have Marketplace? 2.3 is decent. We'll do that. We already have them in all the places that matter down here. And up in the North Sea, fine. Over here. Did no guy have anything important? Does not appear that they did. So, no. I think we're okay on that front. Taxes. Anything above 0.1, we will take. 0.12, good enough for me. 0.1, good enough. 13, very good. No guy. No guy has absolutely nothing useful. Okay. Sort of to be expected. I guess that will do just fine. Up, ah, take that back. Wait, where'd you go? This one. No. 14 is better than 0.1. Okay. <clears throat> and we are completely out of money. And no, we do not want a royal marriage between Bohemia and ourselves. How would that work exactly? Your 11-year-old marrying my 2-year-old? It's creepy, don't you think? I mean, I guess they wouldn't be married. They'd be betrothed. But still, it's just creepy, man. It's creepy. All right. Continue to convert as much territory as we can. Unfortunately, the rest are under religious zeal, and there's nothing we can do about it. Netherlands has declared independence from England. There they are. Go get them, Netherlands, my Dutch kinsmen. Go get them. Take Holland. Holland is probably going to join. The Netherlands actually could expand pretty quickly here. A lot of these countries elect to join the Netherlands. We'll see what happens there. I should switch over to best guess again. Make sure we... Keep everything relevant as far as our pop-ups are concerned. And yeah, we're just going to have to sit around for a few freaking years. Brabant joined the Republic of the Netherlands. It's not a surprise. Flanders joined the Republic. Holland, are you going to join? No, wait. No, Holstein is in a lesser partner. How's that going to work? Conversion successful. Good. It's more Protestants done, more claims on our way. <sighs> Freaking Regency Councils, man. Freaking Regency Councils. Uh, Bukhara declared war. Bukhara is still expanding and doing Bukhara things, which is fine. Go ahead and continue to grow so that you stay a rival for me for a while. I'm going to bump up to speed 5 and just let it do its thing. I mean, at this point, do we really care? Is there any reason not to? We'll just get as many claims on Sweden as we can now, while we wait. <laughs> Should probably get some claims against Bukhara as well. Holland did join the Republic, so the Netherlands just became a fairly reasonable force. 
They are already under attack by England, of course. It's the Dutch War for Independence, that's why. They don't automatically become independent, they have to fight for it, but with enough countries joining, who knows? They're allied to Venice. Hmm. Who all's involved in this war? Netherlands. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Netherlands have a very uphill battle. Uh, England, Spain, Portugal, Bavaria, Hungary, Sweden, and Lorraine. And Parma. Gee whiz. Parma and... Yeah, wow. <laughs> I don't know if the Netherlands are going to last this game. I don't think Venice alone is going to be able to save them. Native assimilation. Cool. The free uh, population here. We've improved relations with Theodoro as much as we can. We have almost finished colonizing in Komi. We should consider where we want to go next. Doesn't really matter that much, I suppose, but... We're working our way through Siberia. Slowly but surely, we are working our way through there. Hmm. Build provinces stuff. There should be a stable government. Lose power or prestige. I will lose the prestige. Thank you very much. Even though I can't go to war and regain that prestige nearly as easily as I otherwise would have been able to. Hello, military tech! Better cannons, artillery fire, and artillery shock. Well, we never get the artillery for their shock value, but the fire value is quite good, and we get better cannons. I like this, and I can't think of anything else I'm using the power for, so let's do it. Let us upgrade our type. Large cast iron cannons or small cast iron cannons. Mm. The offensive fire value is probably going to be better, and the defensive morale. So yeah, we'll go for large cast iron cannons. I think that should be okay. Should be just fine. More claims against Lithuania are done. Cool. Man, I swear, when we do get out of this Regency Council, we are going to be ready to declare war, like, right away. And we're pretty much at our manpower cap. We are at our manpower cap. That's so unfortunate. We need to find ways to get some guys to die. Oh, we just got detected in Lithuania. We'll try that again. Reset. The big reset button. Russia should know all about that. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, back in the day, did uh, deliver a big, giant red reset button to their diplomat as some sort of gesture about resetting our relations. Although, if I recall correctly, she also, well, whoever designed it, misspelled or uh, used the wrong word, like mistranslated the word for reset, which is hilarious. We'll gain the diplomatic power, absolutely. Uh, good. Our colony is done. We need a Korit, 15. And Berezov or Obdorsk. Eh, we'll go for this one. It's fine. Send the troops over there. Yes. You're going to eat that cookie that you got from Panera. Okay. No, I do not. You know how I feel about shortbread. Not very good. Okay. Go go ahead. Have fun with that. I will have my Jaffa Cakes. Thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and do that while we just sit here on speed 5. Why not? <clears throat> Conversion successful. Well, great. Minsk has been de detected again. Seriously? Stop it. Just... No, let me let me claim your territory. I want Minsk. All right, I've got some very legitimate reasons for wanting Minsk. All right, Ugh, there we go. You know, having an uncle who lives in the UK has its perks. That's all I gotta say. There we go. Chaffa cakes. I mean, I, I, as with almost everybody, the only reason that I know that Jaffa cakes exist is because of the Ogs cast. But <clears throat> oh wow. That was a close fight. We may want to have our uh, morale up a little bit more than that. It's going to cost us a ton, uh, chunk of money, but whatever. Let's make sure we don't lose anything there. <clears throat> yeah, the Ox Cast is the only reason I know that Jaffa Cakes exist, but now that I've tried them, like, they're really good. I like them. Little, little biscuits. Sponge cake kind of biscuit with dark chocolate and orange marmalade. It's a perfect combo, in my opinion. Never had orange marmalade, just normally. I should sometime. That'd be good. That'd be good. See, these are the kind of things that we sit around and talk about while we're in a Regency Council. We talk about Jaffa Cakes. It's just what we do. <laughs> it's what we do. Oh, boy. Mmm. Whoa. Just dropped a little bit. Holy War against who the heck are you? And they're trying to westernize, are they? Oh, look. Hmm. Theodoro apparently won something. 
Actually, I think Kiva fought them and forced them to return stuff to Theodoro. That's interesting. Hmm. I have a province that's set to Vital Entrance? Which one? No, not this one. I don't want that. Nope. Hmm. How are we going to get you allied? I'm not going to bother with the whole vassalization thing until they're allies. You just need to stop wanting my territory. You're not going to get it. I think it's fairly safe to say, Theodoro, you're not going to get it. You're never going to. It's not going to happen. Do you know... Do you see me? You see Big Honk in Russia right here, and you still think it's wise to say, Hey, that's mine. You think that's smart? Sure, I'll give you military access. The answer is no, it's not smart. Don't do it. It's stupid. Vassal of the Ottomans. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Ottomans has announced Russia as a rival. Oh, good. The feeling is mutual. Good. Well, that means I'll secure that rivalry for a good long time. Military alliance with Sweden. Did the Netherlands survive? Holy crap, they did. They lost a little bit of territory back to, uh, to England, but the rest did stay in the Republic of um, this thing. The Netherlands. Hmm. We'll be able to do this for how long? Till 64? All right. More loyalty with the Boyers would be nice because that land maintenance modifier is actually pretty substantial. Theodoro declared war. Are you serious right now? <laughs> okay. Corellian Separatists. Uh, I should go and prepare to deal with that right now. Mm -hmm. 12. Lithuanian. Where's Kovno? That's Kovno. We already have some people there. Swedish Separatists in Abo. So we'll go there. What else we got? Finnish. Vyborg. All right, we'll go there. <clears throat> Livonian in Pernov. All right, go there. I don't think anything else is really that much of a threat. Danzig is at one, but I'm not too worried about it. And whoever the heck you are, I don't know who you are, but you're practically not a factor. So, all right. How many more years? Ten more years. Hardy Seaman. Oh, boy. Ten Navy Tradition. Don't care. The tradition is not all that useful to me. Um, Theodoro. Hey! Finally, an alliance isn't available to us. Good. We are allies now. I am going to vassalize you, assuming that you do not get more, um, enough territory to get over 100 development. That would make me very sad. Fabricate claims on you, I guess? Theodoro, Theodoro. You have to wait until you're out of your war, probably. Probably. We will royal marry you. Sure. Us Orthodox people have to stick together, after all. You have no diplomats to send. Military alliance. The target country must be at peace. So yeah, we have to wait until they're done. Um, where's a... Th there should be a something on here that just tells me right up front how much development they have. I don't think there is a easy way to look at that, though, is there? I mean, I could go to the ledger and find out. Let's do that. Ledger. Economy. Um, no. Inflation charts. Country. All right, fine. Theodoro. Where are you? 72 developments. Actually getting kind of close. That's only worth 8, though, and that's probably the only one you're going to take. So you'll still be below 100, and good, we'll be able to, like, start annexing you and stuff. You know, once we wait for a few years. Finally, a peaceful way that we will be able to annex somebody without my stupid Regency Council being a thing. I'm alright with that. Go forth, Theodoro. Conquer that territory for me, so that I don't have to do it. And wait for the stupid Regency Council for ten more years. Gosh dang, stupid Regency Councils. They're so stupid. Fabricate a claim on Laplands or something. Don't care that much, really, but do it. Do it. <sighs> We've been discovered. They've been, no, sorry. They've been discovered fabricating on me. Oh, no. Hmm, <laughs> Maybe we should go ahead and just raise army maintenance a bit. 
so that uh, in case the Corellians do fire, they won't be a problem. Makes some sense to me. <laughs> Ideas? You know what? Diplomatic reputation is not a bad idea. We're still behind in diplomatic tech, but diplomatic tech is not the most important thing in the world. Really. I think I'd rather take the ideas and kind of finish up this idea group. Let's get that diplomatic reputation, which actually means we'll be able to annex our vassals a lot faster now. In fact, if we're really bored, we could just start eating up Riga. Are there any nations that we could release from Lithuania? Not that I'm seeing. So Riga is really our only opportunity for a vassal in this area. So I don't think I want to eat them. I would like to continue to feed territory to Riga. Because, um, diplomatic annexation is very cost-effective for me. Lithuania, 227% to full annex them. They're just much too large. All right, well, let's keep an eye on what happens with uh, Theodoro. But pretty much as soon as they're done with their war, we want to vassalize them. We have the diplomatic relationship slot for it. And then we, well, I don't know. It looks like you may lose your war. Please don't lose your war. I don't want you to lose territory to these guys. Chagatai will cede things to Bukhara. My god, Bukhara just ate a lot. Yeah, Bukhara is not allowed to continue doing this. I need to murder Bukhara. They are much too strong. Much, much, much too strong. Let's take a look at the military ledger. Bukhara, Bukhara, Bukhara. There you are. 35,000. I mean, <clears throat> we're about closer to 36. We are obviously significantly stronger than they are, but still, they're not allowed to continue doing this. No more. No more. As soon as we have the ungrateful, stupid natives, um, as soon as we are available to attack, we're going to want to kill them. We're going to kill them. We want to kill Sweden. We want to get our power projection up there. We want to slow down Bukhara's advance. You know, if we fight a long enough war against them, that will weaken them enough that maybe their neighbors start to feel that they can uh, eat them up. Should be fine with me. Hey, Poland! Declare war on Lithuania. I am ready to fight. I am. Fur. That's good. I'm going to have another Jaffa cake while I sit back and wait on speed, uh, speed four slash, uh, speed five. <laughs> My Pfizer has died. Oh, no. Our general died. No, we liked him. He was good. All right. Mmm, a 3 one, one Let's get another one. There we go. 4 one, 4 No siege value, which is unfortunate, but... The fire value is going to be excellent. Alright. Hmm. Taxes, unrest. I don't need the unrest. The money is somewhat useful, but it is more power. We'll do it. There you go. Of course, now we are losing some money. Because we're at full maintenance, but... It's alright. Um... If we get a few more guys over to Kovno... Just a few. We'll split that, send it over for now. We should be able to get these guys to tick down. No Lithuanian separatists on my watch. Conversion successful. Royal marriage from Poland, I think not. We should improve relations with Poland for a bit. Let's do that. Bum, 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 bum. Still at war and losing. As was more or less to be expected. Utrecht joins the Republic. Netherlands are growing stronger. And it looks like we have Dutch separatists that are bothering England. Burgundy, but those are Brabant, so... <laughs> France, what are you doing? You're blob blobbing in all the weird ways. Oh my gosh, France is beating the crap out of Spain. That's fun. No. No Bohemia. No more royal marriages. I'm done with royal marriages. <laughs> Our legitimacy, of course, is ticking down pretty badly because we are in a Regency Council. It's going to cause problems. There's the Corellians. And Squish. That was easy. Now we just have Kazaki. Uh, those guys are down here, right? This one. All right, <clears throat> let us send this guy over here. And then no guy, we'll send this guy over to, what is it called? Karmelov? That's one, yes. Get some guys over there, and we will not have any separatist issues today. 
unpause. Uh, I guess we'll just continue to fabricate more freaking claims. How you doing there, Theodoro? You don't want to call me into this war, huh? I mean, I didn't think you would, but... You know. Could you please end your war so that I may vassalize you? He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it anytime soon, is he? No. There should be a stable government. Prestige. Of course there should be a stable government. I would love that. I would love to not be in a freaking Regency Council. And then I will show you how stable my government can be. Lithuania's fabricating claims on me, are they? That's fun. Bohemia or Poland? Declare a war that I can gain something from. Do it. Reduce independence of the church. I will gain the patriarch authority. I don't need money. Money is good and all, but it's not as important. Truce with Brandenburg has ended. I forgot that I was at war with them once upon a time. Oh boy. Well, this is going to have to be the end of this video. Not a lot's going to happen until this stupid Regency Council is over, but, you know, whatever. Oh, cool. Population. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with uh, EU4, the Cossacks. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.